plastic nozzle should be replaced every 3,200 cubic centimeters of printed plastic. Or, if you are experiencing under extrusion, it may be necessary to replace the nozzle as part of the troubleshooting process. To complete this replacement, all we will need is a torque wrench with our 7mm bit, anti-seize lubricant, and a new replacement plastic nozzle. We will begin this replacement by navigating to the nozzle replacement utility by going to the menu, utilities, maintenance, replace nozzle, replace plastic nozzle. First step will be to verify that all plastic is unloaded from the machine. If there is still plastic loaded, press the unload plastic button and follow the on screen instructions. If there is no plastic currently loaded, we can simply hit next. When prompted by the UI, use the 7mm torque wrench to remove the plastic nozzle and press next. At this point, you will want to make sure to transfer the washer from the old nozzle to the new nozzle and take care not to lose it. Once the washer has been transferred, we want to apply a small amount of anti-seize lubricants to the end of the threads of the new nozzle. Once it has been applied, press next on your touchscreen. Be sure not to get any anti-seize inside the nozzle. Next, for added safety, select cool head option on the touchscreen. This may take 5-7 to seven minutes to cool. When the print head finishes cooling, press next on the touchscreen. Now use the torque wrench to screw the new nozzle partway into the print head, unscrew it, and then screw it again until it's hand tight. This will help disperse the anti-seize lubricant over all the threads evenly. Once the nozzle is hand tight, press next and to continue the utility. Once the print head finishes heating, tighten the nozzle with the torque wrench until it clicks. Be sure that the torque wrench has solid contact on all points of the nozzle. Failure to do so may result in your plastic nozzle being stripped. At this point, you will follow the on-screen instructions to reload the plastic material. Now that we have replaced the plastic nozzle, we will reset the plastic nozzle counter on the printer. Updating this counter will allow your device to proactively warn you when the plastic nozzle next needs to be replaced. To reset this counter, we simply navigate to the menu, Utilities, Maintenance, and Maintenance Schedule. Once you have completed the plastic nozzle replacement, it is recommended to run the shim bed level utility along with the bed level test print utility.